American Army. Versus. Hey out there internet, it's Doc here, and uh, today we're playing Red Dead Redemption. This is a gang Get shootout, and we'll be the time limits on YouTube. Uh, these little parts here at the beginning have been sped up. So, um, this is on McFarlane's Ranch, and uh, I don't think I get the top score in the game, but uh, there was a 25 kill streak on my part, so I uh, felt like it was upload worthy. And we'll start out here, grab this high power pistol. Uh, it's probably overpowered, but why not use it if it's in there? So, we'll come around this corner, and uh, there should be a dude over here. So and we kill each other. Awesome. <laughs> Looks like he went with the high power pistol as well. So respawn here. That was the last time I died for this entire match. Uh, this is one of the better matches I've ever played. Um, and uh, been prestiging in here. Unlike Call of Duty. I don't know why, but I just want that that damn zebra. And they've been coming pretty regularly with the downloadable content, which is cool. So uh, there's always something new to keep my interest in free room or whatever. I was really impressed with this game. I had a lot of fun with the single player. The multiplayer is good too. Uh, I really can't complain. It's probably one of the best games I've bought in quite some time, I would say. So I really enjoy it. Uh, I don't play too many matches, um, I would say. Most of the time I just like to hang out in the world, see what's going on, kill some people for no reason. <coughs> I did think it was kind of lame how they did the whole, uh, once you get to six kills of other players in free roam, you get a wanted level and they send out the law and everything after. But that's cool. Because it pissed me off when I got spawn killed all the time as well, so... I guess I would like everyone to enjoy the game, you know, regardless of, of whatever. So, uh, but my biggest problem with this game is you'll find a lot of people camping out in the competitive modes, much like really any game you play competitively online. Uh, it's not the end of the world. But this map in particular, they like to hang out on the roof of the sheriff's office or up in the top floor of the barn. And that's fine. They can stay up there. I'll, I'll be alright down there. Uh, I think in this game, the guy above me on the scoreboard was on the barn. Uh, and yet, yeah, he didn't come down pretty much the entire match, if I'm not mistaken. So, the video on Xbox Live that suggested that you crouch while running around uh, is totally bogus. If you crouch, a lot of times people, uh, when they auto at you, it's almost instantly a headshot. I don't know why that is, but it happens all the time. I get headshots on people who are crouched. And so as long as you don't press A to sprint, uh, you're not going to show up on the radar unless you're shooting. I don't know where they got their information. But it's uh, wrong. Not to disparage anything that the inside Xbox people do. Put up some good tips from time to time. But in this particular case, uh, they got it wrong. So you see me complete some challenges here. I think this is the, one of the first games I've played since uh, the last Prestige. Uh, during that double XP weekend this past weekend, which was awesome, by the way. They need to have more of those. Once you get up to higher levels, it takes a lot of XP to rank up. So, and apparently, when the game initially came out, the gang hideouts and such in free roam gave a lot more than they do now. I don't know why they decreased that number, but uh, it kind of sucks, I guess, because it takes forever once you get past about 25 or so. I got the TV on, I'm having a hard time paying attention to the game. But I'm just going to run around the map pretty much and uh, keep killing them, check the scoreboard from time to time. I also had to cut out the final top player deal and all that. Uh, I didn't realize that these matches were going to be so long. 
but apparently they are. Uh, I don't think I've ever been in one that didn't go all the way to the time limit. It's rare to play where uh, you actually get to the kill limit. I think I've seen that happen maybe once or twice. I don't particularly care for free-for-all in this game. Um, just because there's so many players, it's hard to spawn and not get immediately killed. And I don't necessarily like to camp, so sitting in one spot uh, is not really an option, I guess. The gang matches seem to even things out because you at least know that half the people aren't going to be shooting at you. So, the game's very graphically pleasing, I find. The environments are very well done. I was really impressed. I played all the Grand Theft Autos. Uh, didn't get to play Red Dead Revolver because I got rid of my PS4 before uh, it came out. Uh, but I hear it's good. I would kind of like to check it out, but GameStop is one of the original Xbox games, so I can't buy it to play on the 360. And I won't play PS2 games, which I really so I can't buy it and play it there. And you notice I'm pretty much just making a circle around the map, killing everything I see. And now we see out there. Turn around and pop them. Another important thing to remember in this game is uh, know your weapon's limitations. And the high power pistol is definitely not going to reach that far. I had to switch to the repeater real quick and take that guy out at a distance. Try to jump the fence and roll into it. And switch to the knife by mistake. Back out here. Get a few more kills. Keep running around the map slow point here. I can't really find anybody. And I'll sprint right there to get across that street. Just walking up and down the middle of the map is a sure fire way to get killed real quick. Get some ammo. Come through here. This seems where all the teammates are hanging out and shooting at them as they spawn over there at the train station. No one is where I can really see him and get a solid bead on him. Almost get shot. Looks like I got shot in the head, but didn't die. Then. Shoot a few people, but can't get any kills on him. Teammates kill him before I do. Run across this pasture here. See some folks pop up on the radar behind me. Shoot at one. Somebody else gets the kill. Grab some ammo, might as well while it's there. Run through this little area. I hear my phone ringing somewhere, but that's gonna have to wait. It's probably not important anyway. And we'll run back from here. Head back over to where they're all spawning at. Teammates are still hanging out in this little field here. Run on down to the tree. There's a guy back there. This match is coming to a close now. Kind of sucks not sprinting just because it takes so much longer to walk everywhere, but it's worth it to not show up on their radar. Time is running out. spawning on the other side now. I've well, spent the last two minutes just running around trying to find somebody, anybody. As soon as I get to the other end, they start spawning where I came from. Okay. Keep going. Probably could have killed him with the pistol, but I thought I'd switch to the rifle just to be on the safe side. Go out there, get one more kill. I think that's the last one for the match. 
I always suck at the standoffs. The So there we go, and finish it off with, uh, I believe, uh, 20, 26 and 2. And uh, it's been Dr. Usher. Thanks for watching, and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.